can't force someone, you know, to value something that doesn't mean anything to them. So uh, with the whole black lives thing and all that, our lives clearly don't mean anything to these people. But our consumer dollar, I mean, there's no debate that it does. We're on course to be at around $1.3 trillion spent by the end of this year, and we don't really own anything. Being in the finance field, you know, and advising people what to do with their money and things like that, I saw so much that within our people, multi-generational wealth is not something that's important. And so that's what I'm big on, not only creating companies that are positive and things that are going to help my people, but something that I can then leave to my, you know, next generation, you know, or to my family to kind of to grow and to run with. I mean, a lot of the privilege comes from having the ability to fail and come right back because of what's been set up for you and so I'm a huge believer in creating things like that. So that's a clear representation that our dollars are substantial within keeping the community going and keeping everything really at a high level as far as consumerism all together is. You can debate that we don't mean anything to these people, but you cannot debate that the money that we pump into all of these different businesses and, and consuming all of these different things that we don't really create or benefit from the profit on, that's something that truly matters. I mean. 1.3 trillion dollars I, mean, I was reading it and they were basically saying that if african-american consumers were to break away and become their own country we would still be in the top 40 wealthiest countries in the country i mean in the world and so that's something that i feel is huge and that's why i kind of chose to go with this platform